Hey, what's up guys? It's Pedro here from NewCoder.com and in this tutorial, we're going to work more with the HTTP GET request and we're going to be talking about query string and route parameters. So to get started, we created a basic express application from the previous tutorial and we gave it one route, which is basically the index route or you could refer to it as the home page. And we just said, hello world. So if I was just to run this node app, go to Chrome, go to local host, and we're going to put 3000 because that's the port and you see our basic route. So this is the forward slash route. So now let's give it another route. So I'm just going to go here. I'm just going to say app dot get, and we're going to give it another route. And I'm just going to say example. And within here, we're going to pass in a callback. And now we're just going to say res.send hitting example route. So now if I save this, I'm just going to hit control C to kick us out. We're going to restart the server so that it starts with our newly saved file. Head over to Chrome, hit refresh. You see that our index page is still working. And if I go here and type example, you can see that we created another route and that it's hitting the example route now, as opposed to the index route. So now let's go back here. This is all fine and dandy. Now I want to talk about query strings and route parameters. So I want to start off with route parameters and we're going to create another route. So I'm just going to say app.get and I'm going to say example. And within here, I'm going to give it these colons and I'm just going to say name and that's going to be the name of that route. And I'm just going to say age. And then the same exact thing. So I'm just going to pass in a callback. Don't forget to add that. And then this time, what I want to do is access from the request object. And I'm just going to say params. And what we want to do is actually print this out onto the console to see what we get. And the idea is that I want to get the value of name and age. So we're just going to say res.send. And we're just going to say hitting, actually, let's say example with route params. So we're just going to save this, hit control C. I'm just going to say CLS node app, head over to Chrome. We're going to hit refresh. So our example is working, but now we're going to pass information in. So I'm just going to pass in name. So Pedro and then age, I'm going to put 99. So I'm going to hit enter and you can see example with route params has been executed. So now if I take a look back at visual studio code, you can see that when we hit this route here and we print out what's within our request.params, we get an object. And this object contains the properties name and age and the values of Pedro and 99. So let's give a more detailed example instead of just giving a generic answer. I'm just going to print, send the user back his name. So I say name plus here. I'm just going to say age. And don't forget that this name property and age is within our request.params and all request.params is, is an object. So I could say request.params.name to access the name value. And I could say request.params.age to access the age property. So now if I save this and we're going to reset the server, CLS to clear the terminal, node app, head over to Chrome, hit refresh. 
And you can see that we're sending back to the user, Pedro in 99, and that we get the same output because we're still printing it. So that's how we would get data from the user using route parameters. But there's also another type of data that you can send back, and that's called query string parameters. So what is that? Well, if I go back here, and actually, let me just type this out. I'm going to say console.log. And again, we're going to use the request object because the request object is basically what the client is sending us. So I'm just going to say request.query. And here in Google Chrome, let's actually cancel this server. I'm going to save this file, restart the server head over to Chrome, just gonna go up here, hit refresh, go back to Visual Studio Code, and you can see that we get an empty object. Now this empty object is gonna be our request.query, so it's just a query string parameter. And the reason it's an empty object is because we haven't actually passed anything into it. So in order to do that, I'm just gonna go up here, we're going to use a question mark and then it's going to be the name of the property that you want. So I'm just going to make it up right now. I'm going to give it a name of tutorial and then followed by an equal sign and then the value you want to assign it. So I'm just going to say params tutorial. And now if I hit enter here, you can see that's pretty much the same thing that's happening. But if I go back to Visual Studio Code, you can see that our request query object is no longer empty. We have a property of tutorial and we have params tutorial as a value. So now let's say that I wanna pass more than just the tutorial. So how would I pass multiple query string parameters? And if we head back to Chrome, all we have to do is remember to start off with a question mark, the name of the query string, and then the value. So if you want to pass in a second query string, what you can do is use the and sign or the ampersand, whatever you want to call it. And I'm just going to give it sort. And then I'm just going to say equal. And I'm going to give it the value of by age. And if I hit enter, head over to Visual Studio Code. And you can see now that when we print out our query string, you can see that we get an object that has tutorial and it also has the property of sort. So now you might be asking yourselves, when should I use a route parameter versus a query string parameter? You should use route parameters when you must have that data. So for example, let's say name was an absolute must. I cannot have a blank name and I cannot have a blank age. So I would use a route parameter. And let's say that I want to give some optional settings. In that case, I would use a query string parameter. So for example, when we passed in sort, we could be sorting the data by age. And that would be an optional setting, but I would need the name and the age to begin with. So I would use a route parameter for that. And if the user wants to sort the data, then I would use a query string parameter for that.